That's right. Hello, everyone. Time for sports. Richie Malby in for Andy Curtis, where there's some breaking news on the sports front. On a Monday, Carroll College announcing head football coach Mike Van Deest will join the NAIA's Hall of Fame. Van Deest, of course, we showed you earlier this season, reaching the milestone 200 wins there at the Fighting Saints. He's got the six national championships, the 14 Frontier Conference championships. That includes 12 straight and, of course, straight into the Hall of Fame now. We caught up with Van Deest earlier on Monday. Well, it's been great. You know, it's a lot of celebration going on, not just uh, with anything my individual accolades, but I think the, the way our team has been playing lately, some of the things that have stepped up with, uh, you know, Colby Colloy coming in at quarterback, doing an outstanding job, Chase Bowen's doing a great job at linebacker. Uh, that's the fun part of this job right now. It's pretty surreal. I went online uh, Sunday night just to look at the Hall of Fame list, and, you know, NEI, I don't know if we do it. We do need to do a great job, not because I'm in it now, but do a great job of celebrating and publicizing all the people that are in there. The great coaches are in there. The number of players that have been in the NFL is just amazing. And you look at uh, Kevin Donnelly, what he's accomplished at Georgetown as well as now at St. Francis is amazing with his wins. Hank Biggio, uh, Larry Wilcox. I mean, those guys are, are legends. And, you know, to be included with that is certainly an honor, but it's, uh, it's a, sometimes a little bit overwhelming to think that uh, my name will be up there with those guys. What was your initial reaction when uh, maybe they first mentioned, like, that this was, you know, this was coming? Well, again, it's not something I set out to do when I came to Carroll. You know, I didn't know how long I'd be here or what you could accomplish. And, uh, uh, those are things that, uh, you know, are kind of pie in the sky dreams, so to speak. But uh, it is a great honor. It's very, it's very much appreciated by all the people that uh, went to bat for me, the people that wrote letters, uh, the people that promoted Carroll College in particular. And, but I think the thing that the bottom line is Carroll College has a great reputation. And certainly what uh, Coach Petrino did here and what Archbishop Hunthausen accomplished here as a coach, as a president, uh, as well as everything that he did. And then when you look at Casey and Tyler going in, uh, there's going to be more players down the road uh, from Carroll College, and uh, this just puts Carroll College on the map more and hopefully gets our name out there and says, hey, football is important here at this school. And I think there's another Carroll guy that we can count as going in, and Bruce Parker. What does it mean to you to have Bruce going in, not just in general, but in this same class? Well, Bruce and I spent 11 years together here. You know, we had a, a heck of an accomplishment before Bruce came. We uh, had won a national championship in 02. We'd won a couple conference championships be before that, finished third in the nation in 2000, 2001. And when Bruce came in, I think we were kind of at the, at the start of a really successful run. And uh, he allowed us as coaches, allowed myself as a head football coach, to continue to do what we wanted to do. And at the same time, uh, give us any tools, any resources necessary that we needed. Uh, he knew the importance of football. He knew the importance of athletics at Carroll College, being from Montana, being at Montana State all those years. Uh, he came in and understood what the tradition was and didn't really want to try to, you know, uh, fix what wasn't broken. People around Carroll know about the accomplishments here. You touched on Montana State, Carroll, Rocky. His career spreads all across the state of Montana, and it had a lot of those same types of uh, traditions and successes. Well, I think Bruce did. He brought the media to the forefront of Carroll College and to NAI football. And he's done the same thing at Rocky with uh, bringing the women's national tournament to uh, basketball tournament to Billings. But uh, the media part, the things that he did so well, because he was an SID for so many years, he understand the importance of branding and marketing even before those were buzzwords that we have to, in today's language. And then finally, have any of those players popped in the office? Do they even know about this news yet? I don't think so. I haven't said anything to them, and I don't think they go on our website that much, uh, except maybe on Saturdays to see the stats after the games. But uh, they're a big part of success as well as, you know, the Joe Horns and Sean Bloomquist and Casey Fitzsimmons, Gary Coopers, Tyler Emmerts, uh, all those guys. I could stand here for a couple hours, Shane Larson, Nick Graff, and those early classes. Uh, Owen Kepman and Kyle Baker going to the Hall of Fame this year, uh, this weekend at Carroll College. Uh, every one of those players as well as the Nick House and Jim Hogans and Jared Wirtz and, you know, Chuck Harvey's who have coached here. So... Uh, this, is a, this is a big uh, thank you to so many people. You can read much more about it at MontanaSports.com. Download the app, Montana Sports, one word, iTunes Store, Google Play. Find out more about Mike Van Deest, head coach at Carroll College, being inducted into the National Hall of Fame. That's your check on sports. Richie Melby, MTN Sports.